What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make a Terraria server without using Hamachi with Verizon Internet. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is open up your start button and type in CMD. What this will do is open up your command prompt. Uh, once it's open, you're going to type in ipconfig to bring up your internet options or your IP configuration. The uh, section you're going to focus on is the one with your IPv4 address and your default gateway. Alright, once you've gotten this information, open up your browser. Doesn't matter which one it is. And go to the top browser bar. Alright, once here, we're going to go back to your command prompt and you're going to look at your default gateway. Although it's usually the same all the time for everyone, sometimes it can be different. So um, just double check and make sure it's 192.168.11. So just enter that up here in your browser. Mine's going to automatically pop up. Once it's entered, it's going to bring up the Verizon IP thing. I'm not sure what it's called. This is to uh, access your IP. Alright, so as your username, your username is most likely always going to be admin unless you personally changed it. Okay, once it's admin, once you enter admin, your password is usually password, but sometimes it's not always password for people, so you have three choices. You can enter password, and if that's not the password, you can not enter anything at all. Sometimes the password is blank, because people would mess with it. And if the password's not blank, what you would do is check your router, your Verizon router, for a sticker or a paper and on that sticker or paper it would be it would have your um, password displayed and you would just copy copy it onto a piece of paper just memorize it and enter it in and um, once you get the password from your router or you the password was password or it was blank or whatever enter it and go in um, okay so once you're at this page it looks really confusing and you have no idea what you're doing what you're going to do first is you're going to go to advanced. It's going to give you this warning. Don't worry about the warning. Just press yes and proceed. Okay. And once you've gotten to this point, what you're going to do is look for port forwarding rules. And you're going to see a bunch of numbers. You're going to see TCP, UDP, protocols, ports, actions. Just just so we're on the same page, just make sure you see all this. These don't have to be exactly the same, so don't worry about that. Um, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down. You see I have a lot of stuff, so just go all the way to the bottom. And you're going to do add right here. Alright, and you can name it whatever you want. The thing is, I already have a Terraria server up, so I'm not going to do this, but I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So you can name it whatever you want, so like you can name it Terraria, like I have, you can give it a description if you want, blah, 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 blah. And now this is the important part. This is what you do. You go to Add Server Ports. Okay? Um, once you've done this, you're going to add a TCP. You're going to do Source Ports Any. And you're going to do Destination Ports Single. And, what, and your destination port is going to have a zero after single, you are going to enter 7777. This is the default IP for uh, IP port or destination port for Terraria, and this is what you will always use for Terraria, always. So the first one is going to be protocol TCP, source ports any, destination ports single 7777. And what you would do is apply that. I'm not going to, but you would apply this. So. You would apply it, but I'm not going to. Now, let's pretend for you, there's going to be, you're going to have a TCP added right here for the first one that you just did, and what you're going to do is add a second one. So, this would be under the one you just made. So, you're going to add another server port. You do protocol UDP instead of TCP this time. You did TCP, now you're going to do UDP. And uh, you're going to go back to destination ports again. You're going to do single. And it's going to be 7777, just like that. And you're going to apply it, but I'm not going to. You're just going to apply it. And now, 
once you're done and everything's applied you should have two right here one should be TCP one should be UDP and the uh, destination ports on both of them should be 7777 all right once you've done that you're gonna go to firewall settings up here it's gonna give you another warning don't worry about that just proceed and from here you're going to um, go to port forwarding on the left side should be right here you're going to click port forwarding and you're going to go all the way down and you see um, this is actually pretty cool this is mine and this is what yours should look like except down here it shouldn't be active yet but like I said TCP and your destination port is 7777 UDP 7777 all right and now once that's done just go to um, resolve now because I already resolved it but you're gonna resolve now so you can activate Terraria and once that's done you're good to go on port forwarding and um, for, uh, once you're done port forwarding you can X out of everything and you can open up your Terraria make sure it's not too loud there it is so you can open up your multiplayer, host and play, and you just make um, you make a character and you make a world. So if you go here, yeah, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> you create a new world, and what you would do is for um, the, the IP that you would give your um, the IP that you would give your friends so that they can join your server would be um, you would go to Google and type in what is my IP that's exactly what you would give them you would type in what is my IP and it should pop up or you can go to your browser you can go up here again and you can type in IP chicken I'm not going to because it would give up my IP but you can go to IP chicken or you could type in what is my IP on your browser and whatever it is you should give it to your friends um, also when you're creating the server in Terraria and it asks for a password it's not asking for you to give a password it's asking if you want your server to have a password so that it's like security blocked I'm not sure if there's any way to edit your server this is just how to create one with Verizon internet and port forwarding and this is without Hamachi and it, I have tested my server and it works well and that is really it so if anyone has any questions whatsoever just leave a comment and I'll get back to you